In this video, we're going to show you how to replace a Y motor pack, which is located right here. First thing we're going to do is take the tension off the Y belt. So we're going to go over here, loosen the screw. We don't have to remove it all the way, just loose it, loosen it. And we're going to take our screwdriver and our 8 millimeter uh, open end or box end wrench. And we're going to loosen the two screws that hold the motor pack in place. One there. Here. And these ones you also do not have to uh, entirely take out. Just loosen them because this motor pack will actually slide out. Next thing we need to do is take the cable that comes from the motor pack down to this board. I'm just going to gently pull it out. And now you can simply slide the motor pack straight up and out. Just unloop the belt. There you have it. Uh, your motor pack is out and ready to be replaced. To replace your new Y motor pack, follow the exact opposite steps. We're going to loop the belt back over. We're going to make sure that the screw heads are sticking out because they're going to go in the slot on the left and right of the pulley slot. We're going to slide it down in to the slots. You can see the screw heads now are in these V slots here and here. And we want the top of this aluminum motor mount to be flush with the top of the head casting. So we're going to push it down there. And there's also a ridge on the back here that this needs to be pushed up against. So it needs to be pushed toward this side and then down. And we can tighten these screws. Okay, and we want to make sure again that it's flush against the top. We'll go over here and we'll tighten our tensioner. And we want to first move our truck all the way over, push on the belt to make sure that our tension plate is able to move. We have a self-setting or self-tensioning spring on the outside. So if it's free to move, then it's tensioned itself correctly. And we're just going to tighten that screw down. Hand tight. The last step is to come and take our connector here and plug it back into the board in the correct orientation with the ribs uh, locking into the slots. And now you've replaced your Y motor mount or your Y motor pack.